Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try Marie Callender's. This one is the uh, chicken corn chowder pot pie. It's tender white meat chicken. Uh, it looks really good. I like pot pies. I love the crust. Um, we bought these at Kroger. It was $2.49 and uh, Tip recommended that I try this out. So thank you, Tip. It was probably months ago, but but I'm finally getting to it. So um, calorie-wise, it's 460 per serving or 950 for the whole thing. And it says it's a uh, golden flaky crust, made from scratch sauce, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here's the directions. Oven is probably gonna be the best way you do it, honestly. If you do it in the oven, um, that'd be the best way to do it. Uh, but I don't, I don't do oven, so we're gonna do the microwave. So for the microwave, we're going to, I'm trying to get it to focus for me to read, because it's really small. Okay, open the carton. You can flip it over, basically. Um, and tear off the top. Well, it's not one to focus for me. Hold on. There we go. Slip the top of the crust. Cook in in the carton with the top off. Uh, microwave and oven carton on high for eight and a half to nine and a half minutes. Do not cook in microwave ovens below. Mine's more powerful than that. Um, let stand for five minutes in the microwave to complete the cooking. So it's going to microwave for. I'll probably put it in there nine minutes and then it's going to set for another five minutes and you want to make sure the internal temperature is uh, 165 or something like that. I can't read it. It's too small. So anyway, so basically what you do is you grab this thing. It's got a little pull tab on the side. Pull it off. It's got perforations kind of all the way around. Done with two hands would be easier, of course, but you know, can't do anything easy. Okay. Go. Okay, so I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take it all the way off for just a second, but I'm gonna get a knife and slip this. It does have a little broken crust, but it's probably happened in the past. And you know it got shipped, so that's the big deal. So I will uh, be back. I'll probably go ahead and put this on a paper plate just so I can take it out easier. But uh, I am gonna get a knife and slip this, get it in the microwave, and let it sit for five minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. You see it got, got pretty good and toasty. You can smell it too. It got uh, got good and brown. It didn't leak, so that's good. Now it leaked a little bit back then, but I mean, it's inside the box, so that's good. So I'm gonna just gonna, there's my the slit I cut in there. I'm just gonna break it on the top. I don't see quite a bit of sauce in there. Um, some chicken, I see some pieces of chicken in there. So I'm going to, it smells good. It smells like it has bacon or something in there. We thought that when, uh, when it was cooking too, I thought we had bacon in there. But I, I didn't see bacon on there, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna let this cool off a bit, um, break this up a little bit more and let it cool off and I'll be back. Okay, I'll let it cool off a little bit. I'm pretty sure that is bacon because it looks like that is bacon right there. So um, it's uh, it's got potatoes, chicken, corn, bacon, and um, I don't know what else, maybe some onions or something, I don't know. I don't see a lot else, but anyway, here we go. That bite I tasted mostly potato and corn, which is not a bad thing, but, um, but that was what I got mostly of. I always love the flavor of the crust, um, especially the top crust like this part. I usually just save those for last and eat them. This one's pretty good. It's got a really good flavor. I love the flavor of the, um, the corn and the chicken. And the potatoes taste good. They're um, it's all well cooked too. It's not um, the potatoes are are tender. They're not they're not hard, so that's good. The chicken really didn't get a chicken flavor. Here's a piece of chicken. Let me try a piece by itself. Hmm. It's really good. Actually, it's a pretty good chunk of the chicken. I don't think you get a lot of it in here, but but the pieces you get are very flavorful. I'm kind of like a baked chicken with. Uh, with a chicken noodle soup kind of uh, gravy on it. Um, yeah, it's really good. I like this. It's um, it's probably not a five for me, but it's definitely a good solid four. If you like pot pies, you definitely would want to try this out, especially if you like chicken and corn. Um, you'll want to try this one out because I think it's pretty good. I, I will um, definitely enjoy eating this. I'm not going to eat all of it because it was, what, 900 calories, but uh, I'll probably eat about half of it. So, um, so yeah, so I'll give it a four. Thank you again for recommending it and I'll check you next time.